British got full control of the country in mid-1882 because the nationalism Egyptians felt. They had created a nationalist ministry and an army. That same army was the one who fought against the British in Tel El Kabir on September 13. They had lost and two days later the British entered El Cairo and got control over the country. William Barin became in charge of the British administration. Barin now is in charge of literally running the country. However, he only used to work with the Egyptian ruling class and it made him victim of many critics. And soon was replaced with an Arabic speaking consul general called El Dongors. The Turkish privileges of still interfering with Egypt's political life were over and Egypt was now a protectorate. By 1940, Goran constituted 90% of the exportations to the British, who controlled Egypt's financial and economic life. Ensuring Egypt's prosperity was produced more and more Goran farms. There were many European stores selling goods at high prices. Egypt was an industrialized country, so after a little time, an industrial sector developed. However, the pay was low and was dangerous to work in factories. The working class was unhappy and felt desires of becoming an independent country. It's always been known that regions in Europe, like Great Britain, feel keen on Egypt. And in the 19th century, this was a big interest, especially because of the natural resources. At that time, the world's greatest powers were starting to prove technological speaking, and more and more fuel was needed so as to feed cars and airplanes. Egypt has always gone on having a big and big amounts of oil, but that doesn't mean that they have never failed on giving it an exchange in, in a proper way. In the same century, lots of things kept on happening, and textile entry in Europe was starting to have some problems, and they recurred to Egypt. Textile in there was cheap and it quickly increased its demand, which made Egypt a one crop country. Egypt had a strong sense of nationalism. So, after the revolution of 1990, the United Kingdom recognized Egypt as a sovereign state. That happened on the 20th of February of 1922. Let's hit the road. Throw out.